to Top 4, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Peter. I'm an Arsenal fan. I'm joined here by David, an Arsenal fan. Yeah. I'm joined by Ernest, a Man United fan. Rune, Rune, Rune. <laughs> I'm joined by Michael, also an Arsenal fan. <laughs> I'm joined by Ai, another Arsenal fan. Arsenal FC. <laughs> and I'm joined by Adrian, Liverpool fan. You'll never walk alone. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. So, we are joined for the first time um, of the new season. And uh, Van Hal, not off to the best of starts, Ernest, as a Man United fan. What are your thoughts on this weekend's action? My thoughts on this weekend, I think Ed Woodward needs to sit down somewhere and just think about himself. <laughs> because Is he to blame? It, he's to blame for our lack of quality, but he's also to blame because he's just relaxed about things. Like, Carrick was injured in the unveiling of our new manager for 10 to 12 weeks. We have not signed a central midfielder. Mm. Yeah, um, Darren Fletcher almost died last year. And he's our vice captain. That says a lot about how our team is, kind of thing. But all in all, I'm not saddened over the, over the season. I'm actually quite hopeful that this will actually cause us to make signings and big boy signings. But um, I don't think the game speaks of what our, our our team represents. But it says a lot of what we're lacking, kind of thing, because we're playing people that played in the under twenty ones final last season, starting for our team. That's not cool, bro. We had a number 10 at wingback. So it's it's just like we just need to put quality in certain areas. But apart from that, I'm not worried this season at all. Adrian, what do you think is the reason for Man United's defeat this weekend? Um, again, with Ernest, it's poor planning from the top and it's trickling down into the squads. I mean, if you look at it, Lingard playing left wing back, that was abysmal. Yeah. <laughs> hey. He's a number 10. <laughs> but do you think the players are good enough to beat a Swansea side at home, Old Trafford? I think if we had, because I mentioned Luke, well, four, four, four guys are injured. So that's Luke Shaw, that's Carrick, that's Evans, that's Danny Welbeck, and um, Van Persie's not match fit. If those five players are playing that game, we're not losing that game. Yeah. We're not losing Fair that enough. game. Fair enough. Michael, really. what's, what's your take on the weekend's action? What, what, Man United? Man United yeah, Man United. You know what? Um, I, I don't know how I felt about it, to be honest. I, was, I wasn't too surprised, to be honest. I thought the team selection was a bit poor. Mm. Um, but in respect of, I'm hearing people trying to shout our Van Gaal out, this, this, that, that. I think... After the first game. After the first game, and I was just like, come on, bro. Is this some sort of joke? Yeah, but I think, yeah. I think it's good for the bit. I just think, yeah, they need, they need to invest or they're not, they're not scratching top four. Oh, they're not making top four. I don't think if they don't invest, they're not making top four. Signings? How many signings are we talking? Who in particular? Oh, uh, uh, how many you guys? Two wing backs. Two uh, wing backs. Yep. A defender. What so players though? What what players can Man United attract, and how how much are we looking at? Hummels. Hummels ain't coming. Rojo, whatever <laughs> his name is, I think that's a done deal. Yeah. Um. What midfield? Vidal, if they can get him. Would be a good signing. Would be midfield. Would be a good signing. Time. You know what the myth is though. We What's haven't that? got Champions League this year. That's why I, I think it's going to screw them over because I don't think people might will be attracted. But, to but then I also look at people like Falcao, who went to a team that has four thousand fans. God bless. And 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 <laughs> it's all about money. It's it's money money talks. Nothing to do with And don't get me wrong, I have love for all my Chelsea fans, all, all my Chelsea friends, mm. fans, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but they 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 have killed the game I'm in terms of of not necessarily them, but money has killed football. If it's not dead already, it's dying. And it's like, now now every team that used to do a mix of buying players and raising players now has to just spend to compete with everyone else who spent. And um, it's sad. It's saddening that teams like United, Arsenal, Liverpool, who for me are the, the kind of... We, we set the standard for the Premiership. We have to actually follow suit with the cities. And, you know, like City won the league. Mm. Like, that's, that's, that's... Why did City win the league? Manchester City. <laughs> City were losing 8-1 to Middlesbrough less than a decade ago. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So, obviously, I don't hate any team that wins the league. It's just now we all have to follow suit kind of thing. So, money talks. So, I think we can sign players who are not in the Champions League simply because we're still Man United. Like, we're not. It's only two seasons ago we won the, we won the Premiership with 8 points, 11 points clear. Um, Doesn't the whole money thing ruin the game, though? It, this, it, but, this but, thing the thing is, but the thing is, but the thing is, what way do we stop that? How do you stop money not ruining the game when brands are now bigger than football clubs? You see what I'm saying? A team that got seventh is getting minimum £750 million that finished seventh because they're Man United. You see what I'm saying? I have nothing against it, yeah. but if, if that's where money's going, if that's where the, the game is going, 
I, until until anyone finds a solution, I don't think we can e- even complain. Because if you're signing Sanchez for 32, or you're signing Van Persie for 24 million, or you're signing Farkar for 50 whatever million, it's like, we just have to follow suit until FIFA find a way of sorting it out because I don't think it's ever going to stop. Hmm. FIFA ain't doing jack. They're not doing anything. Like they want money as well. But I, I believe... The World Cup's in Russia and yeah. Qatar. And look at that. Come on. Yeah. And then Qatar will be in winter. <laughs> During your Premier League season. Bully. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, let's talk about a team who's done good transfer business. We look at Chelsea who had a convincing win on Monday um, beating Burnley 3-1. Right signings? Yeah. Brilliant. Good team. Brilliant, they're, they're, they're good. Are those the favourites for the league this year? Yes, definitely. By a long shot? Yeah. Long Who's long. challenging them this year? City. Just City. Yeah. Is it a two-horse race this season? Yes, unfortunately. I'll, 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 I'll even say Arsenal. Yeah, you I'll sneak them in? Based on experience. You'd sneak that's, them in? that's if we can keep our players fit. Yeah? Because fam, injuries, fam. Do you think that's probably one of the signings of the season um, that Mourinho's done in either Costa, Sesk, or even Felipe Luiz? They even, signed players that even needed. even bringing yeah. back Courtois. Oh, he yeah. was he was he was a very decent player. I hate on that man. I fear to check this season because no, if you remember, oh, he's gone. Check. You remember, yeah, he's gone. You, gone. you remember gone. when um, check, check is too good sit on the to sit on a bench. Going in, he's oh, and he's leaving. Yeah. No, he's okay. going in two weeks. I I believe he's going. I don't believe he'll be a Chelsea player by January. It's funny because ten years ago, I think to this day around this time, we saw an on form world class Kudacini yeah. in goal. Mm. And Czech came in, right, and it also was a top goalie, much younger than Kudicini at the time, and he got rid of the old one. And now Czech has become the old one, and Courtois has been Who new. Who was the Chelsea manager back then? It like was Claudio Ranieri. Ranieri. Yeah. Well, no, Mourinho signed Czech. So when Czech was there, Mourinho had just started. Yeah, ah. Mourinho started and won the league in 2005, 04-05 season. And now Czech has become arguably, in my opinion, he's the best keeper that the Premier League's ever seen, statistically. That's yeah. just in my opinion. But, yeah, so, you know, who 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 who's to say that Courtois might not be another... I mean, that, that would be scary if we have another check in that Chelsea team for the next 10 he years. Solid, bro. That, that, would, that would say a lot. So Chelsea fans should be happy at this moment in time. Very much so. I, I don't think so, because really? I, think, I think they're losing a great leader in check. In check. Okay. I think, I think they're losing... As in check, check is... Goalkeeping years, Van der Sar lasted until he was 42. Buffon is 35, 36. Check is what, 32? And second best, if not third best, well, yeah, second best keeper in the world. Hmm. This is what I'm saying. I, 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 between him and Newell, I don't know the stats, but for me, top three is Newell, Check, and, and Courtois. And if they lose Check, for me, I, I feel like it's a, it's a sticky situation because you have Courtois who is, like, he's won four cups in, in three years hmm. on loan hmm. as the number one keeper yeah. in, in the team. And then you have Check who's won the Champions League um, kind of thing and, and he's like the best keeper in the Prem so as much as they're gaining um, a, a good player but even that that's that's hypothetical if Courtois gets a mad injury that keeps him up for five years yeah. and it's, it's all hypothetical but yeah. regardless of them gaining a great keeper they're losing a great keeper I mean they've still got Mark Swatcher as a no he is <laughs> chilling in <laughs> number two position he knows he's not going <laughs> anyway <laughs> He's collecting those wages at the pitch. Oh, yeah. I mean, can we can we just have a moment and talk about Seska's pass? I mean, for every Arsenal oh, fan out God. there, I'm, I'm one as well. I'm, 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 I'm so hurt. Francesc Soler Fabregas. Uh, for me, Marcus. we have given a team a league again. I've done it again. I feel like we have, because that through ball. I even had the screen on pause at one point, <laughs> just, to, just to take it in one more time. Because to even dare to put a through ball like that in the penalty area, and it's just... For me, the composure of Cesc was what made Arsenal such a great team when he had him there. And now, the thought of him being under Mourinho... Are the biggest losers Barcelona or Arsenal? I think it's Barcelona. It's, it'll be Arsenal because yeah. Chelsea are in the same league as Arsenal. Yeah. Whereas, if Barca were in the same league, then you'd say Barca. As in, the reason why I say that is because it was a different scenario. Like, I agree that Arsenal could be argued as the biggest losers, but Barcelona never appreciated him. They didn't. Number two, they put him in a position that does not exist in football. Like, if you ask someone, oh, what do you play? Fourth false number nine. Yeah. That's not a position. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> then, 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 you know, he flopped at it and they said, you're rubbish, so leave. But with Arsenal, it was like, no, I need to go back home. Regardless of whether what Wenger said to him in terms of stay and whatnot, that's a different sermon. But, yeah. <laughs> but if, if for me, I, I think Barca are the biggest losers because you had him for two years 
and he was the heir to Xavi's throne, in my opinion. But I still can't believe you. That. You, you <laughs> tell him to go, like, and for thirty m, Sesk is minimum forty. Oh gosh, mm. minimum forty. I'd pay for Sesk. You I know, but that's just my opinion. Man. I would have taken him back. Definitely, man. but it's just the moral side of things. I mean, when he left, it was like you know Ramsey and Wilshire were not ready. They weren't ready, and you look at the year when him. Not only did he leave, Nasri left in the same window. Right, and you look at that team. Went to Old Trafford, lost eight two. Went to Blackburn, lost four three. Went to Milan, lost four nil. That team was awful. The worst Arsenal team I've ever seen. And that had Van Persie scoring thirty goals in the season. So, you know, I, I get what you're saying. We did kind of need him. He's a, he's a quality player, quality player. I just don't. Oh, it does my head in. Yeah, it does my head in. It does my head in. Yeah, City have taken like probably how many of our players? Trust. Gave Man United our captain, Trust. and now says to Chelsea. I mean, who knows what the future holds in yeah, regards to, in regards to those in, in, in for Arsenal Football Club. Um, what about Crystal Palace starting the season without a manager? Uh, Tony Pulis left two days before the start of the season, leaving Crystal Palace in all kinds of, in all kinds of mess. I mean, what's your what's your views on that? <coughs> um, I thought. I initially, I feared for them in a sense because Pulis sort of set, set the foundation. They mm. were hard to beat. You know, you got in Scott Dan, Solis and a half. Yeah. So I kind of feared for them, but their performance against Arsenal gave me some optimism. I think they do all right this year. When did they sign Scott Dan? They, um, they, they signed him. January. Is it? Yeah. The, the defence is not too bad. You no, look they at, they've got Dan, they've got... Um, Hangerland. They even have Hangerland. Yeah, Mariap is a very good player for them. Jedinak. Jedinak. Kelly. He played very well against Arsenal. Yeah. I mean, with that weekend game against Arsenal, was it Arsenal having a rusty start or was it Palace just playing very well, very well organised, that it, that Arsenal struggled to break them down? Who do you think it came down to? I think it was a bit of both. I think whilst Palace played solid, I, I didn't think Arsenal were really at the races mm. in terms of sort of their usual play, their forceful and stuff. And... I feel that game kind of illustrated Arsenal's main problem in the sense that they don't really have an outlet or a main striker to sort of do dirt this season. And, right. I, and I think it will cost them gravely if they don't sort it out. Do we, do we see Palace staying up this season? Um, are they OK? Because they did put in a good performance against Arsenal. Um, what, what are you guys' thoughts on, on them staying up or relegation? It depends, isn't it, how they do against the teams around them because they have to beat Burnley, mm. Villa... Sunderland, West Ham, and like West Ham, like, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So I think, I think it's going to be tight. I think Pulis would have been the difference between relegation and survival, because in my opinion, he was the best manager. Do, last you, year. do you think it was right for Palace to let him go in regards to the situation that they had? Fam, I'm reading, I'm reading. They're getting my, um, what's his name? Makai. Makai, yeah. Yeah. And they're gonna give him twenty five mil to spend. To spend. That's it. Wow. Yeah. No, that's a lot of money for Palace. Because I, uh, the way I saw it was in the summer. Remember, they looked at people like Gilfie Sigerson. They had looked at Corker. Tom. They looked at Okorka. I think even Ince. They looked to get him a, a, again for another season. And the the way the board reacted to that was, look, we can't risk that money being spent on these players and staying up at the same time. But because Fulis had such a good start last season, uh, such a good time with Palace last season, it was. For him, I think uh, Pulis saw it as, you know what, I've got this club to where we're even higher than they expected. Yep. They finished 11th, I think it was, last season. And he felt like he deserved the money to go on and, and, mm. and spend. But it is a risk in the Premier League. You, spending money doesn't necessarily win you anything. 100%. Pal uh, sorry, QPR, not too long ago. You know, they, had a, they, have a, they have a striker who's on 85 grand a week, Loic Remy. And they were in the championship last year, still paying 85 grand a week. For a player that's not in their team, it's and and don't forget, Palace have been and were nearly in an administration twice. So the fact that they could risk that again for the third time, yeah, because Parish Parish has done a good job in in, keep in, them, yeah. in, in keeping them in. Yeah, yeah. When I when I thought of twenty five, I, I I thought okay, this is Crystal Palace. They need maybe five million more. But when I look at the team, I think their team is good enough to survive again. But I just think that Makai, I because I think the options are Makai and. And Sherwood. Tim Sherwood, I would have trusted <laughs> Tim Sherwood to take over if the Makai rumors are true. I'd love to see. I Sherwood. prefer Tim Sherwood at the club. I just think tactically he's got it. I yeah. looked at I looked at Makai's numbers for a Championship and the Premiership, and 
he's not that great. He's not the greatest um, option they had. Don't you think that he would have stayed up with Cardiff if he was given the job for the whole no. season? You don't think so? I don't you think, think Cardiff were going down anyway. I don't think they would have stayed up. Too much hype, bro. I, yeah, I, th- I think I really? think yeah, I think they had good moments. I didn't think that they were a solid team. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. So, so who's who's the man for the job then at Palace? Out of the two, I'll take Sher- I'll take Sherwood. You take Sherwood. Sherwood. Everyone's taking Sherwood. Oh, interesting. You guys, I, I Adrian. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> 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 No. I just cares about. All right. Um, what about some of the penalty decisions this weekend? Um, joke, bro. So that's probably one of the there were three. Bro. I think there were three. Or was it four penalties this weekend? And only one was converted. Only one penalty was taken was scored. No, this Mark Noble weekend. needs to leave it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, was was it a penalty first and foremost? You know, was it a red card? He got, uh, Norton handled the ball in the area. No, he got gassed. And sent him off. Massive red card. Red, red, red card, the f- you know, the full works. Uh, was it deserved? No. And was a bit of justice then paid? When, when yeah. when no, he, <laughs> no, he flopped. Well, he, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He, missed, he, he missed, missed wide and everything. Like, you know when the keeper went the wrong way? Yeah. Bruv, you dragged it wide, you're done. But no, I, mean, I mean, he's been scoring them before. Before, like, didn't he, he scored like his past 10. Shouldn't referees come out and say, you know what, okay, I got this mistake here wrong? Because it was clearly a wrong decision to make. Sending a man off for a handball that wasn't... wasn't even going in. Wasn't it wasn't going towards goal. It wasn't deliberate. And he was sent off. Not just but sent off and a penalty was, was, was taken for... And that was a straight red. So that's three games, fam. What can I say? Is that I'll three be, games? Be, be, yeah, me. yeah. Straight red, three games. It so. me if... if, if, if Man comes out and apologize. Don't apologize now. You made the wrong decision in the no, game. No, because in the game, you know what? Things happen so fast. The game is so quick. Making a mistake is is a human is a human thing. But then after looking at the replay, the referee can then say, you know what? Okay, I see where I've gone wrong here. I think that would be great because that way people get off the referees' backs and realize, okay, they're human beings like anybody else. They all make mistakes. There are some decisions that are dubious, and you can rescind the red card. So, no, but I've heard some ex referees say, "Oh, what's his face?" What's the guy who's in charge of the referees? Riley. Oh, yeah. Won't allow them to do that. Won't allow them to. No. Oh. That's a shame. That is an absolute shame. So is it always Riley that comes out with a statement? Yeah. What, what's boss. Howard Webb doing now? Is he not joined he's that board like, as well? Or? Yeah, he's part of them. He's like technical he's joined them now, director. Yeah. As like he's retired that. now from refereeing. Yeah, yeah. So that's three less points for Man United this season. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, statistically, City benefited from him more than us. <laughs> Manchester City got more points from, than you guys. From, from, from Tim Howard. From Tim from, from from Howard. Uh, Howard, Howard yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, Tim Howard, Howard yeah. yeah. All right, let's talk about, anyway, the transfer window. Um, who do you think is the happiest team? What is the best signing of the season so far, in your opinion? Francesc Soler Fabregas. To Chelsea. Yeah. For how much was the fee? £30 million. Jeez. That's a, that's a very good deal. That's a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> the bargain. That's a, that's a, is, that, is that the bargain is as well the as bargain? the best? It's either bargain. Either I think, bargain. I think that's the best and the bargain. <laughs> I mean, to get... Sp- 30 million now. Oh. It's either bargain. When you think about Lallana went for how much? Was it 25? 26 M 26 million. For a 26-year-old. Luke, Luke Shaw, 27. That's a bargain. Oh, no. Luke Shaw, and you're telling me... Fam. And then... Uh, 27. 27. <laughs> you, you can't believe the number in your head. You have to know the number. <laughs> <laughs> you can't believe the one that you're conjuring in your head. No, <laughs> you don't I mean, Alexi, that. Alexi Sanchez went to Arsenal for 35. Hey, Callum Chambers was 16. Bargain, when you, when you, you look at it, Chambers, Chambers could be Chambers is a good one. It's a good oh, shot. Okay, fair Ch- Chambers is 19. Chambers, Chambers is 19. Oh, was this yeah, with Chambers, it's a better time because he's only 19. Yeah. Mm. But I think he's and to though. sign a si- think sign 16 so million is quite it's still a lot of money. I mean, that's even more than we bought Arshavin. In, in today's football, 60 million is five pounds. Right? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I'll take on guy for 16. Definitely. Yeah. So, what are we saying, Fabregas, or are we are we voting? No, for, I'm I'm uh, scouring my brain. I'm feeling Fabregas because because there's because there's but there's these other signings. I like. There are a few signings underground that we've just not thought of just yet. Good but I'm thinking for the quality I mean, and the price. Have a look at Tony Cruz went to Real Madrid for, for 20 million. Was it 20 million? 20 million. Come on, pounds. Tony Six Cruz. I didn't know this. this is a player in the 20. last 10 games has won about what six trophies? You know, Tony Cruz is an unbelievable player. 24 years old. 24 years of age. Wow. He's got a few years to go. That. Tony Cruz. <laughs> He's got quite. A, so Madrid are in cruise control. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's do a vote. Um, Adrian, Tony Cruz, Chambers, or Cesc Fabregas? Ah. So, good signing of the season. Personally, for me, I'll go for Cesc purely because 
I feel they sort of lost the leader in Lampard and they've brought in a world class replacement in Cesc Fabregas that will get them goals, that will get them assists. Good shout. Yeah. Good shout. Aye, aye. Best signing? Fabregas. Yeah. Value Fabregas. for money? Yeah. Chris. Value for money, Chris. I have, bro. Yeah. I like that Chris, that Chris figure has shocked, it has shocked me, bro. No, it was unbelievable. Oh, my gosh. Oh unbelievable. Yeah, uh, that one year left on oh his contract. Oh, my gosh. So, so. Yeah. And Madrid did the business. Madrid did their thing, bro. Pure. Ernest, hey, signing of the season. Doing? Tony Cruz. Tony Cruz. Anthony Cruz. Anthony. <laughs> Tony Anthony Cruz. Wow, Fabregas, Fabregas. And the David hey, says Fabregas. What's going on the plane up, bro? Yeah. And the reason why I say that is Cruz, is Cruz is part of a team that will touch the semi-finals of the Champions League this year. Yeah. Domestically, I can't say anyone but Cesc. But in the world, it's Cruz. I think Cesc is the signing of the season. For me, bargain of the season. We've all missed this for some reason. But Lewandowski to Bayern Munich for free. That for me is... Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. he's oh, one of... No, have you seen <laughs> his preseason goals? Hey, bro. I've, I've seen his preseason goals. <laughs> no, I thought, there was one oh my where goodness. they drew 2-2 and there are four defenders around him. And you yeah. know the drag back he did against Real Madrid? He did it again. Chip the keeper. Um, Bro. I've never seen a guy so composed with the guys guy around him. Star. Never. I've never seen him before. I've never been a top fan of these tall, lanky strikers up front, but Lewandowski is a different dimension. Different. different striker. For that kind of striker. That kind of Ferguson wanted him in 2012. Wenger should have gone for this Bro. guy went for free to buy a Munich. Free, oh, my Jesus. I don't know how on earth everybody let that one slide. I think, but, I think it's because we thought... I, I, yeah, no, we all forgot because the, the, the deal was done, done back in January year, no, I, and I, it was yeah, it was done a while ago. So that, that one we can give it. Give a play. Worst signing of the season, then. Who has got the worst deal this season on a player? The worst in your deal. in your opinion, it's quite hard. Ferdinand. It's quite hard. <laughs> Ferdinand. Well, he went for free, so it's not really. A, I mean, the wages you could argue, but Ferdinand. What's, think, what's uh, Ferdinand's wages? Oh, he's he's got to be plus one hundred twenty. Yeah, he's got to be over hundred k. But um. The worst signing. I don't think team. that's the worst. I don't how think much, how much did PSP pay for Dan Luiz? Gotcha. Yes. <laughs> yes. Fifty mil. Yes. Fifty. Fifty, 50 million pounds. Yeah. No, but honestly, for David Luiz. Yeah. <laughs> no, but honestly, he oh, he was. No. I I kept preaching to this. He is the worst striker in the top four. Uh, David Luiz was the worst. <laughs> what am I, what am I talking about? Do you know what it is? Yeah. Wee. Like I I cast Luiz all the time. Yeah. He, he is the worst defender in the top four. can't stand David Luiz. How are he going to Chelsea? Reason, for 50 million. 58 million. <laughs> they made profit. There was a rumour. It's just a rumour that Mourinho fell off his chair when PSG <laughs> called his phone. <laughs> when PSG accepted that bid, there was a rumour that no Mr. Way. Mourinho fell off his chair. Um, so, yeah. But um, anybody else? Signing of the, worst signing of the season? 50 million for a box-to-box centre-back. Don't know what you're saying. Send her back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, not even more, more closer to home, I think you've got to look at Fulham. I don't know what they're smoking over in West London. Oh. But 11 million for Ross McCormick. McCormick, yeah, yeah, yeah. A player barely struggling to get 30 championship goals. It's <laughs> quite poor. They broke the record in Fulham, isn't it? Oh, yeah. uh, their transfer budget for him. Uh, and also, like 11, how much million. did they get Metroglou then? I don't record. know. I don't know how much much was. I, I can't remember. It must have been more than 11. I'd say it was I like 15. Must, a Champions League player? He no, 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 no. Ross McCormack. No, but you know, he was saying how... Because I, I heard that it was Fulham's transfer record, McCormack, yeah? Or it's a championship record. It could be one of the two. Probably yeah. a championship but, record. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a championship record. But 11 million, it's one of... It's one, it's whether um, uh, Fulham also yeah paid that amount. So we, we don't know. But yeah, that's a good shot, McCormack. Oh, no, Anybody else? Anybody got anyone else in there? No? No. He sounds like a good shout still. I mean, you look at the Suarez, you look at Rodriguez, you look at all these guys. These are 60 plus million Rodriguez pounds. Rodriguez was a bit extreme for me. Uh, yeah. I agree. Rodriguez? I agree. He's, he's performance against... Take away the World Cup. Very, very extreme. How much would he be worth? Very, very extreme. Rodriguez had a good season at Monaco. He had a good season. How much like, 13, would be worth? 13 assists, 9 goals. No, no, I'm, I'm with Wenger on one thing. No player is worth more than 35. <laughs> no player. No player in the world is worth more than 35. If if I, if I if you're talking today's money, how much would I have paid for Rodriguez? Yeah, 40. yeah, today's money. 40. Before the World Cup. Yeah. No, no, he's a sick player. He's not De Maria, but he's a bad boy player because we wanted him when he was 19 at, at Porto. We wanted him when he was at um, um, Hulk and Falcao and that. So I've, I've known him because Ferguson was interested. 
But they quoted us some stupid prices for a 19-year-old. So that's why we let go. The Monaco, because they got their new money, jumped in. They're, they're good to go. And then he had a good World Cup. So, I mean, you know, Liverpool fan, Adrian, what about Origi for 10 million, but then to be loaned back uh, to Lille? I didn't get that. What, what was, what, what's going on there? Personally, I think it was a good move from Brendan because he knows Origi is a player. He's not going to get many minutes at Anfield. So it's good for him to go go back over to Lille, play first team football, get a few goals, get a bit more confidence, come back as a quick, strong 20-year-old and hopefully kick on for 2015, 2016. How old is he? He's like 18, isn't he? Yeah, 19. Oh, so down. He's young. He's young. He's, He's a young player. Um, Lukaku to Everton, 28 million. I was a bit. Bump. I scratched. I scratched my head on that one Bump. only because I thought Everton could have used that money a lot better. Yep. Lukaku is a top player. I like him, but for Everton, I mean, say put it this way: if Man United spent twenty eight million, if Arsenal spent twenty eight million on Lukaku, I'd say great deal. But for some reason, I feel like because Everton have spent that money, it's not they don't see twenty eight million a season. They don't see it every year. But in all honesty, for them to spend that amount, in all honesty, in my opinion, Lukaku is at best a super sub. But he's a good player. No, he's not. He's not a poor player. I think in the next four years, he's going to be one of the top five strikers in the world. He's really But as player. of now, yeah, Drogba passed when he was past twenty five. Mm-hmm. Lukaku, like the perspe- Let's 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 get perspective, guys. Lukaku's twenty one years old. Yeah, he's still got he's time. Tw- he's young. He's still got time. In, at best, when he was at, when he was with Steve Clark, he used to come on in the last 30, 20 minutes and score a hat trick because he couldn't last ninety minutes. At Everton, a lot of the great games he, he actually scored goals in was when he came on in the second half. Yeah. World Cup, first two games, he had poor games. Then they brought Origi on, and Origi and Hazard had a better chemistry. Then the game he actually did score was when he came on as a sub. So you're saying he's a bad impact At best, player. he's an impact player. I'm just saying 24 million going to, to 28 if, it, if they get Champions League for a 21-year-old striker, bump, whatever, whatever team you are. Bump. Yeah, that's a bump. Unless you're slapping 30 <laughs> plus, bro. Mourinho's laughing uh, to no, the No, honestly. But when you put in, like, what you said about him being, like, top four in the world or something like that. No, he has potential. Two, two yeah, so when you factor in that potential, you could call it an 28 million for a 21-year-old. That's if, though. That, those are all hypotheticals. Of course. Those are all hypotheticals. I, that's, what, that's just my opinion in terms of what I've seen from him. If he loses a bit of weight and becomes more agile, mm. Lukaku can be a bad boy striker. And I think Martinez is the best coach to do it. The money, I don't agree with. I do not agree with. Fair enough. No, look, Barkley's injured, fam. Yeah. That's, 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 that's such a shame for him. Such a shame. He's a good player. Good talented player as well. Five months. Five months, five months is a long time. And then it might take him another five months to get back into the whole yeah. the whole swing Two of things. Rams. You look at Ramsey. When he had that injury, it took him a while to get back. Very long time. Um, so Theo will take himself a bit of time as well at Arsenal to get back. Um, I've got some questions for you guys. Are you ready for a little quiz? Um, can we jump onto that quiz real quickly? All right. Um, name the player that we're not going to be seeing this season for the first time since the Premier League has started. Brand new. Mm. Top man. Well done, David. Nice and easy in that one. Ah, no. Name the last player to score a hat-trick at White Hart Lane. Denari. Wow. The clue is it was last season. And it's not Suarez. Did Suarez score a hat trick at White Hart Lane last year? I thought he got two. Yeah, it might have been two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it, it was last season. It was last season. Sturridge? Could no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't uh, Daniel Sturridge. It wasn't a Tottenham player either. It That's wasn't bad. a wayside. I will give one last clue. It's from a London club. <laughs> so you look at all the London clubs that played there at the Lane last season. There's a player who got a hat trick there last season. Eto'o? Samuel Eto'o? No. Is it Morrison? Ravel Morrison is correct. Ah, Ravel Morrison, the last. You know, I was thinking about. Right. I thought was it was it everyone else in West Ham that scored, and he scored the last goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Name the only player to convert their penalty this weekend. Berenio. 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 We'll, 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 we'll have that. <laughs> we'll take that. And um, which team this this weekend? That weekend gone. Sorry. Um, had 78% possession, the most the Premier League has ever seen. Arsenal. Arsenal is correct. Yeah, done, 78 possession against Crystal wow. Palace. The highest I couldn't believe it. in Premier League history. I couldn't believe it. When I <laughs> is that, that frustrating? Because <laughs> yeah. what, what? It's what? very frustrating. That's because, because <laughs> you ain't got slow strikers, fam. I think even our performance yesterday, because we played, we played well, but we just yeah. we, we didn't put the game away. 
Right, one last like bonus question, yeah? One bonus last bonus question, question yeah? You ready? What, like Arsenal, Arsenal, <laughs> <laughs> Arsenal won their first opening game of the season for since 2009, right? Yes. Name the team that they beat in 2009 and the scoreline. That's you, I. <laughs> it was away from home. It was away from home, and um, did we score five that game? I'll give you. A, I'll give you a clue. We scored more than five. Ses Fabregas scored a hat trick <gasps> in that game. Jump in. Um, was it Everton seven 0 or something like that? It no, was. That game. It was Everton, but it was six one. Six one yeah. away from home. First yeah, game Nilsson of the season. Scored that game as well, like. Nilsson scored as well. Yeah, Eduardo got in the score Nilsson, sheet. You know, score sheet as well. This is where he duffed his leg. Yep. <laughs> yeah, 2009. Yeah, so, when we left, didn't it? Yes. Oh. Yes. I so remember, now. I remember comparing. Who's this Eduardo guy? Eduardo is quality. He was unbelievable. But he wasn't like one of his direct replacements. He was, bro. Was when, he? Wasn't that Van Bergen? Because remember, it was him and him and Adebayo had a lot of games together. Mm. So it was like Henri was not really there, but then. We still had Van Persie who was injured and it was, you know the Van Persie story was 10 games and he's injured. That kind of thing. But Van Persie is a United legend. He's a waste man. He you shall not be named. The little boy in him told me to go to man. The little boy in him is a great man. The little boy inside me. The little boy in him is a, is a mature guy. 25 goals. What was all that talk? the cup. Yeah, he was wearing JVC last time I saw him as a little boy. Like and then that. last year, saying people are playing in his zone. What do you mean by that? Van Persie is a brilliant player. <laughs> <laughs> he scored the best goal in the World Cup as a man. Any night. All right, all right. Oh, yeah, I love Let's, it all. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some predictions. Let's get some predictions of who and the top four. You still couldn't beat us. Let's, let's get the predictions of who top will finish Lemony, top you know, four. Feel. <laughs> all right, that's enough. Yeah, top four predictions um, in order, <laughs> starting with you, David. First, second, third, and fourth. Um, and also your bottom three. Doesn't have to first, be in order. Bottom three to be relegated as well. First, Chelsea. Second, Man City. Third, Arsenal. Fourth, Liverpool. Interesting. Bottom three? Bottom three. Burnley. Poor Burnley. We started Crystal Palace and Leicester. Oh, Ernest, top four and bottom three. I'm gonna give a bit of a speech. A speech. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this: United, um, not United, Arsenal, Liverpool, and not Liverpool, Arsenal, Liverpool, Arsenal, no. City, and Chelsea will be in the top three. Arsenal, City, City and Chelsea, and Chelsea will, will be in the top, top three. three. Okay. That's definite. Okay. That Arsenal first. <laughs> Arsenal could win the league if they if they sign certain guys. Um, United and Liverpool, I can only answer that question after the the transfer, the transfer window and the January transfer. Yeah, window. I think that's yeah. We I, I don't think we can write off United this year because. It could. I think we're, it's going to be an interesting season this year sure, sure. in terms of transfers, in terms of where teams finish. I think people like Pochettino could go this way and surprise us, or go that way and really flop at Tottenham. Yeah. It could be really bad. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't think we can predict certain things. If Sturridge is injured for Liverpool, pissed. They are. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's <laughs> no. Honestly, it could be a mad yeah. season this year. Yeah. United. If United get the right signings, they could be top tomorrow. It's 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 mad if 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 City have a lackluster year because I don't think Yaya is on it anymore. That's my but my opinion. It could change tomorrow. Mm, mm. Um, Arsenal, if they get a number nine or if Campbell just steps up, they could be second next season. So when it comes to the top four, I think that those the two blue teams and Arsenal will be in the top three. I think it's crucial that I don't predict it because I I think United will do well and Liverpool might suffer under the Champions League. But if you ask me today, I'll say Chelsea, City, Arsenal, Liverpool. And your bottom three? My bottom three, Villa. Ooh. I think wow. I think I think Lambert made some 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 wrong signings. Um Palace, because I don't think Mackay is that great. If Mackay is the is the guy. And then 
If Sherwood's the guy, do, do they stay if up? If Sherwood's the guy, they stay up. Interesting. Um, what other team is there? I feel like QPR are going to get that one. QPR. QPR? QPR. So Burnley and Leicester will stay up, in your opinion, yeah? I think th- I think they could shock us this year. Okay. Michael, top four? Top four. In order, and then your bottom three. Um... We'll look back at the end of the season and see how and how see good it. or how <laughs> wrong we were, which will be interesting. But yeah, um, I think C. God forbid. I think Chelsea. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I'm thinking Chelsea. Yeah. I want to say Arsenal second if we buy some players. Yeah. Um, in fact, we'd, we'd, we'd win it if we buy some players. But yeah. Um, yeah. I agree. Arsenal, City, and. Um, I'm still, I'm still sitting on the fence. I don't know. I don't know if Liverpool will do the damn thing, or if Man United will, will pull something. So wait, who's so first? Is it Chelsea or City? You're saying Ch- Chelsea's first. Chelsea first, then what? City second. Yeah. Uh, Close second. Arsenal third. Close second. Arsenal and then third. Fourth, you're not too sure. Fourth, I'm not sure, but Give I'm gonna say because I don't know if Liverpool can do it. Like, I don't know. I'm, 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 I have no faith in in Sturridge at the moment. The strikers, bro. What? As in to to go the whole the, the whole, whole season, season bro. What, un- uninjured? Yeah. I agree. <coughs> I, I, I'm, I'm last not, season, he got injured just being in the FA Cup. I'm not confident. <laughs> I don't, bro, know, bro. Yeah, I don't trust him. You're not confident bro. that he will stay fit. You're not yeah. confident that he will stay fit. I'm not confident he will stay fit. And if he doesn't stay fit, they're screwed. No, they're pissed. They're screwed. Because no, bear in mind, last year, they didn't have no Champions League. They didn't have, like... They came out of the League Cup in September. They were calm. We knocked them out. It was calm. They were calm. Now, imagine this is... Like if when when Sturridge is not there, who they got to rely on? So Ricky, it's basically him, Richard the Great Lambert. So fourth place, Michael. Oh, sorry, I've even gone on. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> we need a fourth place team for you. United, I think they'll pull it out. United will pull it off. I like him. Bottom three. Oh, you said QPR. I think QPR is going back down. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I can't even lie. I like I like Lister's chances. I think Burnley will go back down. Um, and I don't know who I'm tipping for first to go back down. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I can't, I can't put a third one on it. Let me put West Ham in there, bro. I was thinking there, but I don't know. I, like, <laughs> I don't know. I West don't know. Ham. I was thinking there, but I was thinking it depends because Allardyce can keep them in the league. Mr. 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 Sam Allardyce can do something. Hey, yeah. hey, by the way, this morning apparently they're going for Bojinov. <laughs> Valerie Bojinov. <laughs> Valerie Bojinov. How old is he now? I forgot to tell you, yeah. Well, how old is he? Oh, geez, He's past it, man, surely. Aye, aye, top four, bottom three. Top four. Go on, be bold. Arsenal. Hey. Have yeah. to do it. <laughs> no, you don't have to. You have, have to do it. You have to be realistic. 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 No goal fight. <laughs> <laughs> my, head tells, my head tells me Chelsea. My heart says Arsenal. I'm going to go with Arsenal. Fair enough. Wise Fair men enough. go with their heads. Swear <laughs> down. Fair enough. Chelsea second. Ooh. City third. And I'm going to go Liverpool fourth. <laughs> yeah? I think Liverpool will get a striker. Oh, man. I think Liverpool will get a striker. And their squad has been together longer than United squad. Definitely. So, yeah, I think Liverpool will, will sneak ahead of United. Even mm. though I do think Champions League may be a factor. Yeah. Yeah. Bottom three? Bottom three... Um, Okay, this is not really an educated guess because I haven't really been following these teams. Um, I'm gonna say West Ham. Nobody's favouring the Hammers, yeah. West Ham. United. I don't know why. I just feel like West Ham will go down. West Ham um, United. Burnley. Mhm. Leicester. Leicester. West Ham, Burnley, Burnley, and Leicester. Cool. Adrian, top four, <coughs> bottom three. <laughs> I think I'm going to get some crazy looks from the panels. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear the boldness. <coughs> no, 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 no. The no, realism, no. <laughs> that. Yeah. Jose Mourinho, Chelsea, they, they, they get running away with the league. In my honest heart of hearts, if Liverpool get a striker, they could get seconds. Okay. Okay. You like I, I agree. Okay. No, no, I, I, Let's <laughs> I see what you're saying. <laughs> you never know. But obviously, 31 league goals is going to be hard to replace. Third, City. Mm-hmm. 
Liverpool. Fourth Man United. Oh, sweat. I think, hey. oh, sweat. sweat. Down. Arsenal, sweat. Arsenal have mm. been too complacent for too many years. They've oh, been settling for four. Sweat, down. Bread! With Interesting. Um, You're not going to do nothing with Olivier Giroud. You know, <laughs> 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 he needs to get jumped. Hey, that needs to get jumped. Hey, he's gone bold. Listen, listen, listen. He's gone bold. Steve Fletcher at Sunderland is better than Olivia. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> Stephen hey, Fletcher. Did you hear what man said? Stephen Fletcher no, is no, not no, no, fully no, fit. No. I fully fit. I fully fit Fletcher. Now you are on a roll. Is not Until better than Olivia Giroud. I'm glad. I can't even accept that. <laughs> now, now, now you're <laughs> underrating Giroud. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't you ever talk about Olivia <laughs> Drew in that way. This no, 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 no. Oh, I can't believe it. It's a hyperbole. 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 It's a <laughs> I, fear, I, fear, I fear for the Midlands teams this year. Ooh, interesting shout. Um, West Bromwich? So, West Brom. Yeah. Ap- apparently, their manager last year was doing under 21s. So, I don't know how he's going <laughs> to do it this year. <laughs> That's a good shout. Oh, um, man. Villa. Yeah. I, I think Paul, Paul, Paul Merson said it best in terms of their spending philosophy. Yeah. You know, you're not going to buy a new sofa if you're going to divorce your wife. <laughs> like, 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 likewise. <laughs> Randy, oh, say that again. Say <laughs> that again. <laughs> That's a reload. <laughs> Pull up. So, Randy Lerner, yeah. he's not going to be spending money if he wants to sell Aston Villa. Sure. And plus, I think, wow. Ray, I think Ray Keane's too big of a character to be second fiddle. Good point. Him and Paul Lambert, there's going to be some. But I mean, there. they got a good away result against against Stoke. I mean, not Bro, many teams win there. Not many win there. What is struggle, bro? Beginning of last nah, season, they beat Arsenal three one at Emirates. Yeah, yeah. But the the injuries cost them last year. A lot of injuries. I mean, Benteke I barely Benteke. saw. Um, a Bong Lahore True. was probably their only top guy. I remember Vyman who was in and out. But I Villa, Villa, like Villa got. Uh, it only got scary for Villa towards the end of the season. It wasn't it was throughout the season. Yeah, yeah, because they were. Th- I mean, last year. I mean, it was one of those, one of those reborn years where even fourteen teams could go down. It was. It was unbelievable what could happen there. But. Um, Interesting. I mean, you, uh, uh, you're right about the, the the transfer policy over at Villa. I mean, I don't know, I don't know what's happening Shame. over there. So you're saying West Brom, Villa, and who else? Um, Burnley. Burnley. Yeah. That's that's a good shout. That's a good shout. Um, I'm gonna go bold and join I on this one. Arsenal to win the league, provided we buy a striker. Yeah. Uh, second place. I'm gonna go with Man City in second. I think. We're sleeping on City a little bit, yeah. and they they can grind results out. I think the reason why City just about won the league last year was just the quality. For me, they didn't even try to win the league last season and still won it. Um, when I say they didn't try, you look at Chelsea, we're four points off winning the title without strikers. That that says, that's probably, that was the standard to win the league last year. But um, for me, I think City are just, the quality is too much. In regards to when they go Chelsea head to head, I I favour City to beat Chelsea both home and away. This and is real. Yeah, the, even last year I'd favoured it that way, but it was so weird because Chelsea somehow overturned them on both legs, but um, both home and away. Sorry. Because Mourinho is a genius. Mourinho can can tactically defend state. well, but yeah, the, you look at the Nastasic Joe Hart thing at, yeah. at at Stamford Bridge, and then you look at the way I don't know how they lost at that the Etihad. Um, Matic just. Told it was, it was a very I good. Yeah, it was a very good. Uh, but for me, you look at you look at the strikers that you have. I mean, they got Jacko, they got Aguero, you they know, got. You know, you got Aguero. I mean, so, you, you saw Aguero's finish the other day, where it was it was a difficult goal to score, and how he scored it for me, I just looked at it as Newcastle lost the game because the quality was far superior against them. So I, think they're gonna, I think they're going to be interesting this year. In hey, terms Newcastle? Of, yeah, the signings they've made. Yeah, Newcastle's signings. a good shot. Oh, oh, they're not bad. They're not bad. They're not bad. Not bad. The problem with Newcastle last year, you have to bear in mind, Newcastle had a fantastic start to last season and didn't win games for months in the second half of the season and still finished where they, where they began the year. And it was just like, if they continued, if they just kept going on, 
They could have been in, in Europe easily. They were fighting with us. It they could have been in Europe seven easily. Seven to ten didn't change for like six yeah, months. Yeah, that, that position there didn't change for a while. Us, Southampton, Newcastle. And Southampton and Newcastle didn't have didn't, and, didn't and win games. Yeah, and Newcastle yeah, weren't was, winning it was, games. It was a, Everybody else was around them was playing catch up. I think Southampton came off the pedal a little bit there as well. But, yeah, yeah. you know, th- I couldn't believe when I looked at their stats and I thought if they just carried on how they began the beginning of the season, top five, top six easily would have been Newcastle's mm. with the way that how everybody else's form was going. But, um, yeah, City second. I'm going to go with Chelsea third. And then, oh, you know what? Can I be very bold? I'm going to say something that's going to shock everyone here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think Spurs will go fourth. I, I'm reason, reason being, their their team have been with each other for a year. It's 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 got they've got a good team in terms of quality. They've got a great manager underneath them now. Provided he's given the time, I think. I mean, they went down to ten men at at, at West Ham, still pulled off a win. Those kind of results but are going to be. Also yeah, they had a red card also, but. Um, uh, remember, I think Tottenham's was in the first half, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 So they, they had the majority of the match with less men. The thing is, it's those kind of grinding results that the that will, that season. will define your season for sure. And um, I think we'll see we'll see under Pochettino we'll see Lamella, we'll see a bit of Soldado. I think Ericsson will have another good Eric, year. Ericsson will be. Um, you know, and 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 the and way it, when you look at how Southampton were under Pochettino as a team. You know, the quality this wasn't necessarily 100%, but he made the best out of what he could and, and made Southampton 100 million over the summer. Took Lambert so, to the world up. Yeah, you know, I, I think, I think we're gonna, I mean, you're looking at this Dyer, this new kid, Dyer yeah. for Tottenham already. People are, you know, and Pochettino, you can tell, is good with youth. And Tottenham do have a good youth development uh, team going on. So I think they've got, a, a, I mean, they've still got Adebayo, they've still got Soldado. They've got a good team, in my opinion. Sandro's still in there. That defence might be a bit shaky, but they've got a top quality goalkeeper. And if... if um, and Yeah, now Vorm as well. Oh, yeah. So you look at Liverpool and United, I think with them two, I don't know, I don't know what form they're going to be in this season. I, can't, I couldn't say until after the transfer window when we, yeah, re, when we revise again. But um, for me, Tottenham are just the quiet team that are just going to get the job done on each game. Nobody's going to really talk about them, but we'll be there or thereabouts. And we'll be looking around thinking, oh... Hold on, Tottenham's here. That kind of thing. So I, I'm just going to throw it in there just for prediction, just to give it something different. But yeah, that's my top four. Bottom three, all the new teams that came up will go back down. That, I, like I think all the teams that have come up will go, will go back down. There's something about Villa that I always I feel like they're going to go down. However, they're, the, the, they've adapted to the Premier League too well, where they even if it was on the last day of the season, I feel like if they had a chance to stay up on the last day, they will beat any team in the Premier League. They will take it to any team because because you look at their away you look at their away form, yeah? You look at their counter attacking football. Not that they're better than anyone. But when if you look at their away form, because what kills Villa is their home form. Last year their home form was bad. The year before that their home form was bad. It's their away form that keeps them up. And when they get to play against teams who where they can play on the counter, they're a deadly team to play against. When you've got Vyman, Benteke and a on a on a counter attacking side of things they are a dangerous Aston three. Villa at, at Anfield last year. At Anfield, at the Emirates, at the Bridge, you name it. There was a lot of games that they had where they were just at it. Even, even, if Villa even Chelsea at, at, at Villa Park. And Chelsea at Villa Park, I don't know how. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know. But what if Villa go at a team, say City are playing for the league? That yeah, I mean, that's that's like, yeah, that's when it becomes, you know, tooth and nail. say any team. Yeah, yeah, not, but as in, what I think it's... It, as in if it goes down like to the if, wire. If, if the big yeah, ones yeah. are not playing for anything. Let's say, yeah, yeah, let's say, let's avoid the top four, for example, because okay, even, yeah. Yeah, let's avoid the top four, for example, but if they've got to go to Newcastle and win to yeah, set, yeah. stay up, I think they'll beat Newcastle. Yeah. Um, okay. Stuff like that. There's just something about them that, that they've got. With Roy Keane in there as well, it's a good addition for them. Um, it's probably too good for them as well. So... Yeah, that that would be my bottom three. It's just Leicester, Burnley, and QPR to go back down. Is it fair that we discussed the bottom three before the season has actually even kicked? Well, off? it's it's early prediction. I, I mean, I, you know, because <laughs> I watch it on Sky well, Sports and I'm like, bro, like Aston Villa representatives are watching this thing. You guys don't rate us. Like, I think it's so deep. I know what you mean. 
We're looking at because uh, it's, it's always it's based on paper. It'll be based on paper and based on experiences that we've seen of these clubs and situations. You know, so there's a, there's a, the reason why I'm looking at those three getting relegated is simply because I don't think those three managers will be there come the end of the season. I think Harry, I think Harry will be gone. I think Nigel, I forgot his last name at Palace. Uh, sorry, at uh, Leicester. I think he'll be gone, and I think Burnley's manager will be gone. Uh, Tim Sherwood's back in the job this season, basically. So Sherwood will be in a job. <laughs> I think <laughs> we'll, we'll probably see David Moyes in a job, and we'll probably see. Uh, but did you hear David Moyes? Oh. David Moyes, I think, is is a comedian. He said <laughs> that he's been receiving offers from Champions League clubs, and so no, 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 no. Hold on. no, no. Galatasaray were, were, were in talks with it. This was Sky Sports yeah. breaking news, yellow line. Yeah. I'm saying he's a comedian because he said he's only looking forward to the Champions League teams. When I saw this on TV, I had to clap. <laughs> because I think... You know what it is? My honest opinion of Moyes, if I saw him on road today, I'll shake his hand. <laughs> and just say, you know what? It just didn't work out. It just didn't work out. Yeah. It just didn't work out. Yeah. It was a hard time. It was a hard He's time. He's not a rubbish manager. It was a hard time for him. I, was, I kind of prefer... I prefer um, Mo, like Van Gaal over Moyes because it's someone that's proven. So even if he flops, it's like, okay, they can't even try to do what they've done to Moyes to Van Gaal because I know that it's just like... Even... even Van Gaal is an individual, like he's confident with himself. With for him to even be playing, whether three, three at the back, was it yeah. five in the middle? And yeah, three five two. Three five two. Like for him to be doing that is a bold thing within itself. But I think because Moyes came from a thing where whatever he was suggested by Ferguson, but he still came from Everton. He Don't ever get it twisted. If David Moyes put Ashley Young at wing back, I'd throw a brick at my. The everyone's throwing, <laughs> yeah. Because the I thing for me, what I find unfair about this situation now at Old Trafford is that Van Gaal is being compared to Moyes and not Alex Ferguson. And yet Moyes is always going to be compared to Ferguson because that he was the that was the guy him. after. Yeah. Now Van Van Hal might not finish top four this year, but we know he won't get sacked. And the the question then becomes, how does he keep his job when Moyes doesn't for for not making top four? Moyes was, I think Moyes was just bad. He was just like, no, nah, you could say these men are not playing. For but my, a, a club as big as Manchester United to not make Champions watch that League football. Game, bro. I watched that every games, game. we have bad games. No, Ferguson no, 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 has no, lost no, no, bad no, no, games. No, 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 Ferguson, we had, we had you have to remember Ferguson. Zero Fer- zero. Let's not forget Ferguson no, at Old Trafford no, lost six no, one to Man City. Six one to Man City. Lost to Burnley in all nine. Lost to Burnley at, at Turf Moor. Last season, I saw games when I I thought I thought what is Manchester United's football identity this season. What is our style of play? Moyes beat Swansea last season, first game of the Four season. 4-1. Brilliant. 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 Van Gaal no, listen, lost 2-1 at Old Trafford. He gave, he gave, he gave <laughs> nine goals to Bayern Leverkusen <laughs> last year. Yeah? Yeah. Van Gaal lost his first game. But now it's an issue of Van Gaal literally has to play Tyler Blackett. Moyes had Vidic and Ferdinand. Bro, you, had Ever. you had the champions. And bro. Bro, the champions! So, so is Manchester United's team better last season than it is now? It's a better last season. Mm. Yes. On paper, it was better last season because right. it was direct, directly the champions. It was, it was, this it season, it's bad because Vidic left in January. Forget that he was there in, in yeah. May. He left because he said, I'm going to Inter. There was a picture, you know the p- passport pictures yeah. that have the lines <laughs> of the of the stamps. Yeah. There were Inter Milan stamps on his picture with him smiling at the camera. In January, I'm going to Inter Milan. Yeah. If Van Hall was there, if Bergson was there, Vidic is not going anywhere. Yeah. He went to a club that has less ambition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, honestly though, yeah. Inter Milan ain't been the same since Mourinho's I mean, left. Don't you think it's just when you're reaching Vidic's age and you're thinking, you know, my time might oh, be yeah, up. He's 29. Nah, Vidic, Vidic is, is plus 30. 30. Oh, he's he's, he's, he's over 30. Oh, wow. So you yeah. think about it like this. But he's you know, still a good Vidic. When you, in when, my opinion. When you, yeah, when, you, when you're a player of that age, right. yeah, um, and how many games have you got left in you? Going to a nice country like Italy, chilling out there in Milan, you know. Ca- Collecting a couple of grand a week, playing football in Italy where the league is not as like intense. Kind of it's like a retirement home for the, football. The question is, the question is this: I mean. If Man United, are, because Inter Milan, they're not in the Champions League, are they? No, they're not. Not this year. But if if Man United is making is is in the Champions League this year under David Moyes, yeah, Vidic is not leaving. Yeah, yeah. 
that's that's not rocket science. Fair, fair enough. Vinicius yeah. is not leaving. Ferdinand fair however, enough. would have gone because he's old. His 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 back is still affecting him. I heard he got destroyed the other day. Well, I heard Ferdinand actually was was probably the best player QPR had, no but he, he made a mare. He just yeah. had, he just had a mare towards the goal, but I heard yeah, yeah. I heard he played actually yeah. pretty yeah. pretty well. Yeah. I heard he was pretty. I mean, he's experienced. He's he, Very, listen. Yeah. Ferdinand knows where to stand. He's, good, he's, he's got the brain. Was Ferdinand it's, was one of the best standing tacklers of, of his generation. It's a good signing for QPR yeah. for sure. Yeah, he just he doesn't have to slide. He just stand. Man, you bought Ferdinand for thirty. Yeah. When you weren't buying defenders for that, and he lasted like, yeah. what twelve years? Twelve years. Good, yeah. good, good, 12, 13 good, good, years, ten, you know? good solid ten but years. But I, I will say this about Moyes that he's not a rubbish manager. I think Man, Man United fans that say he's rubbish is because we've been spoiled. You know, we're from the generation where, from nineteen ninety two onwards, there were only two teams in the Prem: Arsenal and Man United. Yeah. So we've been spoiled. Yeah. So when we see, like our we, people won three points at Old Trafford for the first time. Like Swansea the other day they won for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. And even in the FA Cup last year they won. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, so it was like Boney. Hmm? Boney. <laughs> Like, Boney, you know them ones that like Boney put it on Phil Jones. Bo- Boney put it on Phil Jones, you know what I'm saying? And Bro, I saw the goal here, yeah, I was crazy. Bro. <laughs> the first one, Swansea scored. No, bro. talk to me. <laughs> yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. This year, this yeah. year, I on like I said in the beginning, I honestly believe that when I looked at our preseason, and I'm not the kind of guy to get gassed over preseason because we go to America, we beat Seattle Sounders seven nil with Oberton in our team. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't. I don't care about preseason because preseason yeah. is for fitness yeah. and to see what your team is going to play like. Yeah. But when we were beating Madrid, if your team has come from seventh to beating Real Madrid, and this is a Madrid with, we didn't have our full first team. They didn't have our full first their full first That's team, true. and they had Bale, Isco, flipping Modric in their team, and I think Ashley Young scored a goal against Casillas twice. That's mad, bro. Do you see yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. we beat Liverpool. We beat. Aroma, a team that finished second in Serie A, and we were free. so. When I looked at that, I thought, okay, I'm not gassed, but it's, it's looking good. It was like, okay, this is not bad. I, I, I'd, I'd like potential. to see this. It's very, very much potential. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And when I look at the loss on on um on Saturday, I thought Ed Woodward just needs to to do something because you go on an interview. I was showing Peter the, the picture today, and he was talking Greece. He said, he said um, that what's it called? We have. He's, I'm tired of seeing all the big players going into Spain and into other parts of Europe, but we can. There is no. There is no limit to our transfer budget. That was five weeks ago, bro. We can spend 50, 60, 70, 70 million, 70 million, on, million on, a if we, on a player if we want. But <laughs> according to ESPN, we lost a player this summer for two million difference. Oh, swear it down. Big bro. Uh, they didn't say Tony Cruz, man. You, you think so? Uh, it was probably Tony. It's got to be Cruz. It was probably Tony. You lot chased Cruz all season. All, all season. All we season. Said it, we said it in the chat. We said it when I remember we played we, Bayern I'm, Munich. I remember when we, we played when we played Bayern Munich and Cruz's goal against Arsenal was probably supposedly one of his last goals for Bayern, Munich, for Bayern Munich. Going to Man United. Since you know. then. So Ed Woodward for me has proven his incompetence for the second season. I think he cost Moyes his job. I honest. think I think he was one of the reasons why because Moyes has come on, a, on an interview yesterday saying that he was promised Ronaldo, Bell, and we were the ghost club mm. that no one said our name. We were the club that bidded one two five okay. for Bell, yeah, for Bell. definitely. Yeah, we yeah. were the club that we, 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 that, that, we, we, we wanted. We wanted Fabregas, Cruz. Um, sorry, Fabregas, um, mm. Cruz. Herrera. Moyes said Moyes yeah, said Herrera. Cruz was eighty percent done when he was at Man United. You see what I'm saying? So when I look at Moyes, I will say this. I always say I blame Moyes. I'll say 60, 70 percent. Tactically, we were just poor. Yeah, there was things we were doing that I thought, no, but what's going on? Like this is not how we play. So correct. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong here. Shaw, Herrera, those are Moyes' deals. Those were Shaw knew he was coming to United before the season ended last year. Those were David Moyes. Herrera, Herrera said this when he came. He said he was gutted when he didn't come last season. Oh, wow. But if 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 Man so, United don't make top four this year, right? Is it the players or is it both managers? If Man United don't make top I four this year, I, I I blame the club. I blame the, the club? club because, like I said, if if you know, like Van Hal is being unveiled, Bobby Charlton is unveiling this guy as a manager, and he says in that press con- press conference, Carrick is out for ten to twelve weeks. How long ago was he unveiled? 
before the preseason started after the World Cup. Where is our central midfielder? Fletcher died, almost died last year. Mm. And he's our vice captain. Why? When they advertise our new, our new kit, you can see his, his rib cage, bro. <laughs> no, honestly, yeah, he lost, a lot. Picture, he lost a lot of weight last year. He you did, see what I'm saying? So when I see all these things, I think to myself, you are the second biggest club in the world. Man United fans will say the best, the biggest. I think brand wise, we're the biggest, but Madrid is the biggest team in the world. Yeah? But when I look at all of these things, I think. Stevie Wonder can see we need signings. <laughs> no, but honestly, though. <laughs> no, but, okay. no, but honestly, <laughs> no, but honestly, though. Yeah. Like, it's not even cool. If you... T- <laughs> <laughs> David's gone. <laughs> <laughs> What's with Stevie Wonder? Hey, if you, now, this is what I will say. If you give me every team player that is not fit for the Swansea game, fit in every game of the season, we will make top four. Right. These guys know how to win the league right. by themselves. Plus Mata, we know how to win the league. I, I trust Rafael. There's good quality in that team. We have there's quality no, in our no team. Doubt. I argued for two hours with my cousin. My cousin's 17. Mm. I argued with him yesterday because he was saying um, Lindergaard doesn't provide the hair with competition. I said, oh, that's... like, you don't know what you're talking about <laughs> kind of thing, yeah? Mm. Cussing my team, he's saying... We only have four players good enough to play in the Premier League. I stopped talking what to him. Hell? I stopped talking to him. What the hell? I, 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 and, 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 and you see, the thing is, he's an Arsenal fan, so that made it three well. times worse. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so I look at I look at people who cast our team, and I think, bro, two seasons ago we won the league with eleven points clear. Eleven points of Man City. Oh my God, we're the only team. I'll say this here. I'll say this live. We are only the only team that wins the league with points to go. We bang it, bro. We don't do point difference. We bang the league, bro. And I'm talking about with Carrick and Cleverly. We bang the league. So when I look at seventh place, it's not just seventh place. It's like we're Man United, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when I look at that and I think people cast my team, I'm like, no, but this team won the league, though. Mm. Well. Yeah. Well, well, well. That's how good Ferguson was. Ferguson was a sick man. Let's, let's, let's move on. Let's wrap this thing up. Um, let's wrap it up. We're going to do predictions for the for the next weekend's um, fixtures. I've got I've got the list right here. Um, win, lose, or draw is all you got to say. Um, uh, the first team. I'm going to go around in order, starting with David. The first match: um, Aston Villa at home to Newcastle, Saturday, 12:45 kickoff. Aston Villa at home to Newcastle. Win, lose, or draw. That one's tight. It's very very tight. It's very very tight. I think home win. Home win, so Villa got the win on that one. Ernest, Aston Villa, at home to Newcastle. Oh, I thought he was getting that game. Okay. Oh, no, no, we're gonna. Everyone's gonna do a prediction. Aston Villa at home to Newcastle. Newcastle win two one. Newcastle two one. Mike. Initially, I was thinking draw, but um, I'm, I'm giving giving home win too. Home win, yeah. Aston Villa home win. Aye. aye. A draw. A draw. Adrian. Newcastle away win. I'm going for a Newcastle away win. <laughs> Based on that form of Villas at home, I just don't, I just don't know. I don't, I don't see it. All right. I don't see I don't it. This is a fairly easy one. Chelsea at home to Leicester City. Ah, oh, Chelsea. Three o'clock kickoff Saturday. Chelsea home win. Home win. Ernest. I want to say home win, but for the sake of the banter, I want to see. <laughs> no, because I want to see because the way Leicester played Everton was was sick, bro. Mm. Um, I want to see a draw. I want to see a two-two draw. 2-2 two, two draw Mike I want to see Chelsea lose but um, yeah. they're going to win the game we'd love that we all want to see Chelsea lose <laughs> <laughs> I like Chelsea home to Leicester yeah, City very comfortable Chelsea win very comfortable yeah home win yeah very comfortable home win as well um, Crystal Palace at home to West Ham London Derby oh, very good game very Crystal good Palace. game jammy game Crystal Palace hopefully with a manager in charge West Ham have no strikers sorry West Ham have no yeah. strikers <laughs> My ego. <laughs> they got home win, they, 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 home win yeah. Home win. home win for Palace. It's a vital three points yeah, for right. either team. Go on, uh, Ernest. Then Sam Adams gets sacked. Who's at home? Palace. 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 Palace home to West Ham. Palace will win 2 1. Palace 2 1. Mike. Palace. <laughs> I really don't know. I'm going to go with West Ham. Yeah. Mm. Adrian. It's going to be a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I'm going for a draw as well. I have a funny feeling it's going to be a draw. Because right. West Ham could have beaten Tottenham last week. 
But they didn't. But they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what it comes down to. Another tough one. Another dodgy game, let's say. Southampton at home to West Brom. Three o'clock kickoff. Southampton. Southampton? Yeah, kick it Southampton. 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 What are we saying there? Southampton. Southampton. I know Patrick, Southampton Yeah. We'll go full house on that one. Southampton home win. Um, Swansea at home to Burnley. Ooh. Swansea. Swansea at home to Burnley after Swansea. a good, impressive away win at Old Trafford. Swansea. Burnley yeah. losing at home to Chelsea. Will it have a knock on effect for both teams? Burnley's a decent Swansea. team, though. Swansea played that passing game, though. They played, uh, they played a good football. I think they, were, I think they were after you guys or before you guys in the most passes last season. Swansea are a passing oh, team. Twenty nine goals for that first goal. Yeah, they passed. They yeah. passed a lot. They yeah. do pass a lot. And good then Paul football. John got shifted. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Bonnie, Bonnie did well to block. Yeah. Yeah. Bonnie did well to block him because that makes the goal happen. That is an important Just block arms. to make it happen. Yes. Ernest, uh, Swansea at home to Burnley. 2-0 no Swansea. 2-0 no Swansea, Burnley. Oh, we've only got Gomez up front. Oh, my God. <laughs> you just thought about it. <laughs> 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 Key and Sigerson in the middle. It's a good yeah, team this year. It's a good team. It's yeah. not a bad team. Shelby. It's not a bad team. And they team. signed Fernandez today. And Fernandez as well. Well, 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 well yeah. player. Yeah, yeah. For Argentina. Decent. Napoli, man, yeah. Uh, Mike, Swansea yeah. at home to Burnley. Swansea. Swansea. I want Burnley to do something. Aye, aye. Home win. Home win. Home win. Yeah, full house. Home win. Once again, this is the tough one, yeah. Five thirty kick off. Um, Everton at home to Arsenal. Uh, <laughs> I going to see nah. Um, Everton at home to Arsenal to round off the Saturday game. It's tough. Know. This is tough. Five o'clock. Yeah, five o'clock. Oh, <laughs> it's tough. Thank, up north. Listen, thank thank God it's not at twelve thirty or twelve forty five because that's. Loudest in Everton, bro. Yeah. yeah. Go on, Everton at home to Arsenal. What are we thinking? Bearing in mind Everton had a two-two uh, draw with Leicester. That Wenger says they're back this weekend. Arsenal win. If Arsenal Ozil's win. on pitch, fam, then fam. I don't know, you know. Nah, 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 nah. I don't, I don't think Ozil coming back will make a difference. Ernest, Ernest, what are we saying? Um, I'm putting into perspective. Arteta's out. Yeah. Flamini's got a red card in him. Yeah. They got Barry. He's got, he's got a card. Bear in mind, they don't Barkley, you know. But they got Lukaku. They, they played a decent game. They got Lukaku, they got McGeady. Oh, they, 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 they got Christian Atsu. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, even with all that, though, they drew 2-2 two, two away at Leicester. No, really 100%. promoted Leicester scene. No, 100%. Because and, no, and could have lost the game. No, but Leicester was on it that, that day. Yeah. It's, it's first game of the season you want to impress. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I think I think everyone tries to perform for the first season. The second second game we just we, did, we back, just back to normal. Yeah, yeah. Right, guys. Yeah. Um, <laughs> honest, Everton, Everton at home. Everton at home at Goodison um, against Arsenal. Arsenal two one. Arsenal four two one. I'm confident, you know. We're Arsenal both. Two, so we've got. Ozil's on pitch, if Arsenal. Ozil's not on the pitch, what 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 are we saying? Is it a draw? Is it a a Everton win? A draw. So a draw if Ezel's not there, if he's there, so Arsenal yeah. win. And I think he's the difference between a win or a win or a loss. Arsenal, Arsenal, um, Arsenal and it's just saying Mesut. Sorry, it's oh, saying no. away win. No, number ten back, Jeff. Away win, Mike. I'm confident, you know. Everton. I'm, I'm confident in Arsenal. I think two yeah. two nil win. Two nil, clean sheet. Depends, but I'm confident. Arsenal win. Arsenal win, Aya. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's going to be a tight game, but I see Arsenal nicking it. Yeah, I'm going to go for an Arsenal win. Come on, Arsenal. <laughs> we have to win this one. Right, the Sunday games kick off with a very, very interesting game. Hull at home to Stoke. Hard, hard one to predict. That's a hard one. Very hard draw. one to predict. Draw? Draw, yeah. Yeah, bearing in mind Stoke lost at home to Aston Villa and uh, Hull beating QPR away. Draw. draw, yeah. Hull at home to Stoke. They lost Snodgrass to their game. Though. Who? Hull. They signed Snodgrass. Yeah. I had no idea. Snodgrass, yeah. Snodgrass oh, I totally right. forgot about. It. I did not see um, that one. What's it called? Um, I did not see that. Hull, one. and then Stoke have got Bojan, Adam Wingy, and Crouch. Yeah. Stokes, Stokes. Actually, Hull's defense ain't bad. Hull's, Hull's defense is not is not bad at all. Um. Hmm. I think that'll be a one 0 to 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 Hull. To Hull. I think Hull will win one 0 You're saying you said draw. draw. 
One nil to Hull. One nil to Stoke. Bojang will score and it will be great. Boji. Oh, Bojang's my fantasy team. <laughs> oh yeah. Based on the last week's game of um, Stoke and Villa, I'll go for Hull. Okay. And the boring nil no, nil. No. <laughs> <laughs> a boring nil no, nil. No. <laughs> Um, there's something. There's something. I mean, Hull last season had a very good home record, which kept them up. Um, I don't know. I just don't know. Stoke at home. I'm gonna. Stoke got one of these. I'm gonna. Stoke's a difficult team, you know. Boring, you know. Them, them games at the end of match of the day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the last yeah, match of the day. Trying to stay awake. I think. I think. I think I'll join Adrian and and David on a draw. I think it'll be a draw um, between Hull and Stoke. All right. Um, at the lane. At White Hart Lane, Tottenham will be hosting QPR. <sighs> Tottenham hosting QPR at the lane. David. Uh, Tottenham. Tottenham, yeah. Tottenham. Tottenham. Tottenham, man. <laughs> Reluctantly. Yeah, reluctant, yeah, reluctant, reluctant. <laughs> the home team. The home team. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tottenham. Yeah, th- those guys in white. We'll do that. <laughs> The fake, the fake Real Madrid. The fake Real Madrid. <laughs> um, Sunderland at home to Manchester United to round up the Sunday games. Sunderland, Sunderland at home to Manchester United. You're Sunderland. going Sunderland, David. Whoa, we're going in there, yeah. Sunderland. Oh, United, right Ernest, is it is it a, is it a win for your side? Manchester United with a W. With a W, it's yeah. It's tense though, man. Cause you it, man I think that, it, that's one of them bogey to mm, them. Yeah, it's a bit tense. Yeah, it's a bit. It's a bit tense. Last season, remember Adnan Yanezai's double. Beat, beat, uh, it, it, no, we, we, we played 4 4 2 in the second half. That's, that's what I'm saying. I think it depends on. 4 2 in the second half. On, Actually, Van Gaal. Plays. I think it depends. Van Persie started. Team selection. Right, yeah, yeah, I changed that. Van Persie started. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. The mic is off. You can't change it. No, the mic is off. 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 Stick to it, bro. Man United win. So two away wins. No, no, no. Don't change it. No, no, no. No, no, no. Two away wins. Because you weren't rated my team five. <laughs> Go on, Mike. I don't even want to hear it's, that. It's, it's, it's based on that like, team selection and that. Yeah. But obviously, if they if they play like the, the Van Persie, then man there. Yeah. I think if I don't he doesn't do that that three that three five two thing. If he does yeah. like four four two plays yeah. guys, then man man. man, 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 man. I I think Sunderland always have an upset in them. Yeah. But based on last week's results again, Man United losing. I think United will be up for it. This yeah. Week. Yeah. Good point. I, I, how was that? Good shot. Coming out of, 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 of your point. <laughs> <laughs> Just to put on record, I hate Manchester United. Capital H. Capital H. <laughs> hates Man <Red> United. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I have a hate relationship with Man United, Tottenham, and Chelsea, so I, I kind of feel his pain. his pain. Uh, Adrian. Um, Rooney double United win. Rooney double Manchester United, United win. United. I'm gonna go for a draw. At, at the Stadium of Light because that's that stadium will be amped. Uh, first home game for them. Um, Man United have got the quality. It's just I think the passion, the drive of Sunderland might might come out and and might play a part in in that game. And people like Carrera join, come into the stadium of Light for the first time it's it's against Catamore against right? Catamore and players <laughs> like that. You know, yeah, I think Lee Catamore will get a red card. <laughs> you see his you see his burner last weekend <laughs> against West Brom. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, so oh, unbelievable. Oh. unbelievable. But um, yeah, so I, I think for some players that are that are coming into the to the league, Man United might have a new signing by that time and it will take them a little while to just settle in. I'll go for a, a, a draw. Um Final game for the weekend, um, Man City at home to Liverpool, Monday night football. MNF. At the Etihad, Manchester City against Liverpool. David, talk to us. No, that was the game. Uh, Man City win. Man City win? Ernest? Comfortable Man City win. Ooh, comfortable. Comfy. Mike? Yeah, Man, Man City are running the show still. Man City running the show? Aguero injury. <laughs> Liverpool will surprise them. Liverpool? I'll go for a draw. A draw? And Adrian? Avid Liverpool man. Um, Go on, mate. <laughs> now, if we allow so Silva to start picking holes, then probably. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's a wrap. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> a wrap, yeah. yeah. Now, you know what? You know, I'm optimistic. I think I can see a 2 2. 2 2. Mm. Last year it was 2 1, wasn't it? 
Yeah. But Liverpool yeah. should have won that game. Liverpool should have won yeah. the game. Referee was was drinking diesel. I'm going to go for a home win for Manchester City. Again, first home game of the season for them. I, I just don't I just don't see the problem. Who need that work? City don't have any holes at the moment. So I, th- I think they'll be oh, all right. Oh, Clichy at right back. Banter. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure S- Sanya or, or Zabaleta will play in that game this weekend. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Um, but yeah, C- C- at C- C- yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clichy at left back is banter anyway. Is it Sterling on the right? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be an entertaining game. Uh, yeah, definitely. It's gonna be oh, but I'll, I'll go for a City home win. Yeah. So um, other than that, I think that's it, guys. Um, until next week, make sure you guys log in, check out where we can find ourselves on the iTunes, on the SoundCloud. Um, Hashtag top four. Make Spoiler sure you got that on your Spoiler Twitter. Button. All right. Done, done. Um, yeah, we are done. See you next week. Top four. United. United.